one go. So it turns out that the friends and company you keep can have a profound influence on your financial life because they've discovered that some lenders and credit card companies investigate your tweets, your Facebook friends, and this way they learn more about your spending habits. Apparently, they are judging you by your friends' activities. And if your online acquaintances are delinquent, you may be denied a financial loan. For many of us, this is considered unfair. Why should I suffer if my coworker's birthday party is in a local pub? instead of a Hilton hotel. And as we approach the days of awe, we ask ourselves the same question. How does Hashem look at us? Does He also judge us based on our associations and our friends? Is God more compassionate if we hang out in the right circles? Well, this week's parasha is parasha Nitzavim. And the, the Torah says and describes the Jewish people standing before God like this. You stand upright this day, all of you, before the Lord your God. Your heads of the tribes, your elders, your officers, and all the men of Israel, from the little ones, your wives, and the stranger that's in your camp, from the woodchopper to the drawer of your water. And what does this teach us? That we are part of a community, and how we affect others is what's most important. So our credit rating is indeed affected by our acquaintances, but not how they behave or how they do things, rather how we have an influence on them. True, we do also get judged by what we do as individuals, but a big part of our judgment is based on how we impact others. Because all of us are both contributors and recipients, from the leaders to the woodchoppers, we are all uniquely indispensable in being critical cogs in God's master plan of humanity. So to sum it up, luckily we're not only judged based on algorithms, because ultimately all the high-tech algorithms that the Silicon Valley can produce do not come close to Hashem's watchful eye. And God will indeed differentiate between man and his fellow. But at the same time we also have to know that Hashem will grant us a greater credit based on what we do for other people. So as Rosh Hashanah nears, let us all recommit ourselves to the true currency by which genuine credit is extended if we influence others to do more good deeds. But by the way, you must remember that that certainly also will increase our own good deeds. Wishing you Shabbat Shalom.